Bond's leader procession through the streets of Pulcheli as members of the Gosseth of Bards make their way to the traditional circle of druidical stones at South Beach. Members of the Ovate Order wear green robes, Bards wear blue, and the Druids are dressed in white. The Hyrlus Horn is carried in the procession, as is the Aberthged, or Sheaf of Corn, behind which follow girl dancers. Arriving at the Gosseth Circle, a ceremony begins, during which proclamation will be made of the 1955 Royal Nationalized Southerford of Wales. The Archdruid Cunnan is retiring from his office, but will reassume the position of Gosseth Recorder. By tradition, a nationalized Southerford must be proclaimed at least one year and a day before the event is to take place. Within the circle of stones, the Hyrlus is offered to the Archdruid Cunnan in token of the wine of welcome given by the district to the Icethaven. Now the new Archdruid, the Reverend Dufnelt Owen, kneels beneath the grand sword of the Gosseth. This is a sword of peace and is never fully withdrawn from its sheath. The retiring archdruid places the crown upon the Reverend Owen's brow. The crown, together with the gold signet ring, a carved breastplate and a scepter, are the traditional symbols of the archdruid's office. Thus, with full traditional rites, the nationalized Sutherford is proclaimed and the new archdruid begins his term of office. <laughs>